guys welcome back to the channel today is vlogmas day two and i would want to show you guys how to prepare Ghanaian shuttle you must include this in your christmas dishes so just stay tuned as i take you through all oh, oh. so my main ingredients are fish powder we've got shrimp powder here we have coconut flakes which you can get in any supermarket we've got our, our pepper powder you would also need your tin tomatoes so this is an italian brand but you can use any brand as you want so these are the main ingredients that i have at the moment as you can see from the video i'm trying to toast or roast my coconut flakes before i blend them and then add them to my shito but yes you can do it without it you would also need oil and then a large pot before I do my shit, I always make sure that I, you know, toast or fry my ingredients, I mean the spices, before I blend them and use them, just to get that good aroma taste. So I'm gonna blend them, everything is done here. I've got my oil, my spices, my onions, my ginger, my garlic, and I'm blending, and I'm blending all together. You need to make sure that it's all well combined. However, some people choose to use water to blend their ingredients, but I intend to use olive oil to blend it. You can use any sort of oil, just so you don't get that watery uh, paste. So because I'm using a small blender to blend my ingredients, I did it blend all the ingredients twice. So the second batch, I'm going to add my aniseed to my rosemary, which you can see in the video, and that's the rosemary. And then some herbs that I've added as well, and I'm going to blend all these together. Make sure it's all well combined, you want that smooth texture. And then I'm going to blend my coconut flakes, which I toasted earlier on. So I'm just blending it with olive oil, with olive oil, and uh, there's my oil in the pot here. I'm just going to turn on the fire, and then we're going to start our shito. Everyone has his own way of doing it, but this is my way. So I've got salt here, as you can see, and these are the main ingredients that I showed you earlier on. And these are my cubes, my onga cubes, and that's it. So I've got my blended ingredients, as you can see. So these are the onion, garlic, ginger the anise seeds, the negro pepper, the star anise seeds and uh, these are the main ingredients that you will need the fish powder, shrimp powder, the coconut flakes that I toasted and then that's it so let's just get straight into the cooking so to begin I'm gonna turn on the fire so let's just turn this on So now that the oil is ready, I'm going to add my cubes first and my seasoning. So I always make sure that that goes in my oil before I add any other thing, whether it's stew or soup or whatsoever. I make sure that I add the seasonings first. So I've just added the tin tomatoes to my seasoning and I'm making sure that it's all combined, stirring it all together. So when you stir it, this is the outcome of the base. So we're just gonna leave this on to boil for some few minutes. You can choose to let it boil before you add your grounded or blended ingredients. I mean the onion, the garlic, the ginger, the anise seeds, and anything that you've blended to add to your shito base. I'm just mixing all this together and then I'm gonna leave it on for it to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to add my shrimp powder let's just say it's for it to cook for that long I would suggest to leave it on for about 20 minutes make sure your fire is on a medium heat my mistake in this video was when I was making my shito well your girl was in a hurry but i made sure that the fire was on a high heat so that was a huge mistake i made and i don't want you guys to repeat the same thing so make sure that you have left it on the medium heat or even on a low heat 
so in here i've just added my blended onion and garlic yes to the base and i'm stirring it up as i said you can choose to add all your mixture in one or you can choose to add it separately as i've done in the video but this is how i choose to do mine as you can see as i told you earlier on because the fire was on a high heat you can see some black uh things in the you know shitter base which shouldn't have been because my fire was too high so do not make that mistake make sure that your fire is on a medium heat so it doesn't go bent we don't want a, sh a bent shitter we want something sweet something delicious I'm now adding my blended coconut flakes. You can choose to leave this out. This is optional. I add it to my shitter because I want to keep my shitter for long. Normally, most shitter that we buy outside, they don't add coconut flakes or coconut oil. So when you put them in the fridge to preserve them, it doesn't really take long. It just goes, uh, you know, damaged or damaged or spoiled i would say so that's the right word spoiled Just, you know within some few weeks but once you add your coconut oil that's the extra virgin coconut oil or you use your coconut flakes it keeps it longer it preserves it longer and it doesn't spoil you don't have anything in the shitter or whatsoever so yeah, as you can see, the shito is coming up. I do not like my shito to be black as some people would want it. Some people tend to love it that way, but I don't want a black shito. So I'm adding my pepper powder to it. So this is the original pepper powder straight out from Ghana. My mom went to Ghana and she got me this pepper. I really love my mom so much. She always gets me stuff. Sometimes I don't even tell her I need them, but she just thinks that hey my daughter would also want to do shuttle let me just get her this pepper powder so she brought these ingredients from ghana so that's the pepper powder and the shrimp powder and the fish powder all straight from ghana so if she's watching this video thank you so much mom for bringing me this pepper powder the shrimp powder and also the fish powder because it's really been useful Yes, yeah, so I'm doing this shito in a very large pot because I have, my family is a family of four. We don't eat that much shito, but I am a person or I'm a mom who loves to share. I don't love to keep everything with me, so I'm sharing this with my friends and my family. So this Christmas, that is what I'm doing. I'm not having this all to myself. So I'm also adding here all pepper seasoning. You can choose to add it or not. It entirely depends on you. Every woman has his own ingredients and seasonings that he or she prefers. This is what I prefer. If you'd want to add any seasoning, just go for it. You can just add any. So I've added my all pepper seasoning here and I'm just waiting to add the rest of the ingredients. That should be the fish powder and the shrimp powder. So yeah, I'm just gonna stir this first, making sure that my all-purpose seasoning is well combined with the other ingredients in my pot. So, how do you do your shito? Do you do it the same way as I'm doing it or you have a different way? Just let me know in the comment section so in here i've just added my fish powder as you can see in the video and i'm just stirring it up making sure that it's all well combined because you don't want some parts to have you know the fish powder and some parts not so make sure that you've stirred it all together so they all come out very very well now i'm adding my shrimp powder to the base i guess i've made a mistake here i think this is the fish powder instead and the first one was the shrimp powder whichever ways you can add them either the first the f f fish powder first or the shrimp powder first it doesn't really matter but yeah everything will go in the pot anyway so i've added all and i'm trying to stir it all together Trust me, this shit is going to come out very, very well. This Christmas, do not leave shito out of your Christmas dishes. 
You want to eat kenke, you will need shito. You want to eat rice, you will need shito. You want to eat anything with a sauce, trust me, shito is the way forward. And you will need my shito recipe. You would want to try it. So kindly try this and let me know how it goes. So if you're preparing shito, one big important thing that you need to note is it needs oil. Yes, it needs a lot of oil. And as you can see, I realized that the oil on in my shito or in my pot was little. So I've just added more to it. So it can turn out very well. So I'm just trying to stir it up again. And I'm going to cover this, leave it on for you to cook. As I said, don't let this go bent. So make sure your heat is on a medium heat or a lower heat. On the other hand, if you want your shito to be black, as ma most people would want it, you can choose to li leave it on for it to turn very black. But I prefer my shito to be brown. So yeah, let's just add our salt. But be careful, you don't add too much salt because all the seasonings and the cubes that I added in my base contains salt already. So you don't want your shito to turn out too salty and you don't also want it to turn too sour. So make sure it balances. Yes, so let's just stir this up and then leave it on to cook on its own. So as you can see, the brown color is coming out, it's turning out just as I want it. So yeah, let's just cover this up and leave it on for it to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then voila, your shito is ready to be eaten so these are my main ingredients that i use as you can see i've got my bay leaves my onion my ginger my garlic my calabash nut, calabash nuts i don't know if that's the right name but i think that is the name and i've also got on this side my star anise seeds my anise seeds herbs and i've also got my rosemary on the side so this is the outcome of the shuttle as you can see it's not very black Neither is it very dark, but it's dark brown, just as I want it. This shito is a must try. You have to include this in your dishes. Trust me, you will love it. And on the side, as you can see here, I've got my fried plantain, which I was going to enjoy with my shito. Hey, Azizu, Mesu Obayedopa, Oyede Ekawano, Netri, Na Eidze, Oyede. So, ankasa, ankasa. So, try this, guys, and let me know in the comment section how it goes. What do you include in your shito? What don't you include in your shito? Do you like my recipe? Did you try it? What do you think I can do better the next time I make my shito? Kindly let me know in the comment section. Until next time, in my next Vlogmas video, I would say ciao, buon Natale. Merry Christmas in advance and until next time is bye for now. Let me just enjoy my plantain with my shito. Ah, this tastes so delicious. Thank you guys for watching and it's bye for now. Kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah.